Hello guys and welcome back to Mighty Machines. In today's video, we will be looking at how oversized loads are exactly transported through these 11 amazing machines. Stay tuned and watch until the end to learn more about them. Starting strong, we have the Felbermeyer GmbH, which was tasked to carry a 200-ton pull-all plant. This is for the plant for primary products and plastics production for the Hungarian oil and gas group MOL is building. This will travel to 170 kilometers northeast of Budapest. From the crane, this machine is supposed to take the load to its target destination. Due to its size and how crucial this part is, the team of four people from Felbermeyer had to spend time planning this entire operation. And the preparation actually went on for four months. Instead of using land routes, they have also decided to use water routes to avoid other complications or issues. Thanks to their efforts and the capabilities of this 18-line SPMT, the project was successfully done in just after five months. In terms of transporting overlength goods or loads that are heavier, one of the machines considered are the modular trailers. These machines are a series of special vehicles that are used to transport large cargoes that are difficult to disassemble. If you don't know, modular trailers are also used in power stations, chemical industry, iron and steel industry, and the construction industry. However, modular trailers cannot work by themselves unlike the SPMTs. This is the reason why they are paired up with trucks or tractors that can pull them. Once combined, it can now be called road rails. The BLEN group has also been one of the most impressive providers of these road rails. In this operation, they used a notebook trailer with a Volvo FH750 to further enhance the transportation service and make it even faster and more flexible. This has not only caused them great speed, but also increased their efficiency significantly. Next up, we have the company Kamag that promises to withstand even the handling of 900 degree hot steel slabs. This is through the use of their trailers. However, as we all know, trailers need machines or vehicles that could pull them for it to be functional. This is where the TTI group comes in. With the TTI group's two intercombine trailers, the trailers now have the functionality of both a modular trailer and an SPMT. On top of that, it can also function as both when needed. The total weight of their load was 132 tons, had a length of 7.1 meters, a width of 6.6 .6 meters, and a height of 5.4 meters. After traveling through a 269 kilometer long path, they have successfully delivered the loads to the Hale Braun Harbor. Did you know that mining sites use stacker reclaimer machines to dig out mineral deposits? This is especially true if the operation concerns massive levels of mineral deposits. Even with their usefulness, reclaimer machines aren't that easy to transport. But Bolor Logistics took the challenge and safety delivering these parts of a reclaimer machine. This is the 15th part of a reclaimer machine, also known as the largest part because of its 208-ton weight. Bolor Logistics has to deliver this damage-free and safely. 
Actually, the destination was only 7 kilometers away, but due to its nature and difficulty coupled with other issues encountered, they were able to complete the operation only after 8 months. They used the finest mobile bridges systems available for this project, that's why it only took them 2 years to reach all parts of the machine at the assembly point. How impressive is that? Most of the time, war tanks and similar machines use crawling systems so that they have more advantage in tough or challenging terrains like snow or mud. However, one of the problems operators face is how to transport them. Since they can't run that fast, crawling systems damage the road while moving, hence the need for low loaders in operations as such. Now let's look at this low loader from Slepner used for transportation of the crawlers. This specific low loader is best at doing jobs thanks to its hydraulic units. Aside from that, the level of its height can also be adjusted through a ramp. Overall, this amazing machine can set your crawling machine for transport in just two minutes. Self-propelled modular trailers or SPMTs have axles that can be controlled remotely. This makes monitoring the trailer easier for the operator since he's given view from all angles and the freedom to move in different directions. In Mamoet's case, they have an SPMT with 22 axles that have 8 wheels each. This is capable of carrying excavators to the mining site, however their speed is much slower than other machines in its range, that's why these are usually reserved for transportation of superloads alone. More than the weight of the load, its overall size is what complicates the operation the most. As if that wasn't enough, when your load starts weighing up to 200 tons, traveling through a narrow and public area becomes more risky than before. To further explain it, we'll use a specific situation that happened in the year 2013. Delbermeyer had to come to Romania with 8 steel giants that weighed 245 tons each. Aside from its size and height, plants and trees on both sides of the road contributed to the many hurdles this operation had to face. What's more horrifying is the fact that one wrong move could cause a severe accident. Good thing that the Felbermeyer team had a great plan to successfully deliver to the port of Costanta without even a scratch, to which resulted in the completion of the project. Would you believe that a dump truck can be as heavy as 130 standard cars? Well, that's true for the MT2A2, the world's second largest dump truck. This weighs about 240 tons, which is equivalent to the combined weight of 130 standard vehicles. Due to its weight, transporting it from one place to another has been a very challenging journey. This is why the national group has decided to just remove its wheels before the loading. Once that's settled, a road rail powered by two powerful trucks is used to carry it. To guarantee more safety, not only for the people around it, but for the operators as well, the police had helped escort this machine all throughout the path it took.
Then we also have the transportation of a giant airport bridge structure led by Mamouet. This time they had to transport a load that was 200 meters long and weighed 5,100 tons. Although the destination was only 3.5 kilometers away, it wasn't the easiest task. Mamouet had to keep it at 14.3 meters high all the time, which made things even harder, especially with the altitude. Extreme accuracy and safety measures had to be followed since the slightest mistake during this operation can lead to an unsuccessful operation or even an accident. Good thing Mamouet used their 264 SPMT axle lines in a way that almost worked like four legs. All in all, it took them just 10 days to complete the process. To make sure that the whole process is safe and secure, cargo companies need to conduct some preparations, one of which is the measurement of every aspect of the freight. They measure it and take note of the data so they're able to show it when the authorities ask. During some of the similar operations, authorities shut down all traffic bridges along the way or sometimes remove them. However, transportation companies like Omega Morgan do not allow anything to be broken even if they carry a 400-ton super bulk yacht in a narrow street. Did you know that excursion steamers and other large ships cost up to millions of dollars? This is why transporting it has been one of the most challenging tasks, too. Lately, Kubler took on the task to transport a vast ship to its new home. They did it by first separating the upper deck from the hull and transferring it to a carrier. On the other hand, Kubler's B-team was assigned to take the hull of the ship. To be able to precisely move through this operation, they have done multiple simulations before putting the loads on route hence making it easier for them when the actual operations had begun. This is the end of our list of the Tough 11 trailers and vehicles that can take on oversized load transportation. Before we end, we'd like to let you know that we'd love to hear your thoughts and suggestions in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. You can also click the notification bell so you can get notified whenever we post something new. Thank you for watching.